Hey guys, so uh, in this video, I'll show you the Inspect tools. Pretty much um, what it is, is uh, to allow you to uh, evaluate the data on your asset level and to kind of like make decisions and adjustments based on that. So uh, some of the things here, so it, it can it's located pretty much on the asset level. So in this video, I want to show the main ways you can utilize this and um, how you can get the most out of it. Now There are pretty much like four main blocks here, right? So one is all stats, right? Auction competition, auction uh, audience saturation, and uh, auction overlap. So this will show you how you are basically going to on all four of these. And you can break down any asset. Unfortunately, you cannot break down campaign and you can see how it's been performing historically and why it stopped working well, whether it stopped working because of the auction overlap or it stopped working because of the audience saturation or it stopped working because of the audience competition. So the things that previously just kind of like before you had to guess about this. Um, so now you can pretty much just know for sure uh, what that exactly is. So for example, uh, so this ads, for example, here, um, if we do the inspect on it, and so we do like the, the, the inspect, as you can see, like for whole months. And since the last edit, so pretty much like uh, some of the edits here, uh, and it probably won't show me, but pretty much um, it was working and then it stopped uh, working and uh, made some of the adjustments. I'll, I'll tell you like exactly what kind of, um, what kind of like adjustments, this is the CBL campaign, what kind of adjustments I've made here to uh, improve the performance. So you can see here, auction competition. So this one here shows you how you are uh, basically stacking against, uh, you know, the competition. It's very interesting because previously it was just gas, pretty much audience saturation, right? So frequency, and then you can see how, how the uh, frequency interconnected with cost per purchase, which is very, very interesting connection and audio, uh, auction overlap. So you can see not very significant here, all of the like auction overlaps and all of the changes that have been done to this asset. So very, very interesting to observe and it allows you to evaluate, you know, totally different level because um, it allows you to evaluate things that previously you had to guess about. Now it allows you to kind of like break it down and see exactly what the problem is and what you need to do to fix it. So all stats. So this one is particularly cool as uh, it's basically has stats from uh, the other three graphs. So for example, uh, below you can turn on like the amount spent and purchases to see how effectively um, you adjust your budget daily. Ideally, you want both both graphs uh, to grow together. So uh, kind of like amount spent and purchases. So it's kind of like all of them to grow simultaneously. That's an ideal situation, but it's not like that. You need to go down and analyze probable reasons why it's not like that. So pretty much the way the way it's designed is for you to have this kind of like dashboard and according to this matrix that you receive from Facebook to adjust the performance. So it's designed for a vertical scale. So designed for a scaling where you increase the budget on the, uh, on the asset, right? Or, or on the campaign instead of like creating new ones. So, you know, basically what Facebook wants is for you to have all of the tools to adjust your strategy, adjust your bids, adjust kind of like, um, the approach that you have to not create like new asset, but pretty much to fix what you have there to fix the performance and have your ad spend growing within the same uh, campaign and asset. So you can have all of these insights. Um, so this is, this is basically how, you know, as you can see how it changes. So cost per purchase amount spent, right? So that's pretty much like how it's changing uh, since the last significant edit changes because we've, we've done some uh, changes and experiments here, we won't be able to pull those uh, from here. So we only see the data since the last significant edit. Like, unfortunately, we, we won't be able to, won't be able to pull the data um, effectively uh, to analyze it uh, on a more, um, on a more granular level, how it like how it was changing over time. We only see the stats since the last significant edit. I have screenshots like what happened here is pretty much cost per purchase like grown very significantly as you can see here. 
drop in performance happened. So we started to analyze like why it happened. So we started to break down the reasons why it happens. And another effective comparison here is like amount spent and reach. The more you spend, the more people you want to reach. So uh, if, if you see that you don't um, increase uh, the budget yet, like yet, you know, your reach goes down, then you have either oversaturated the pocket or your ads are not that good um, anymore. In, in uh, They're not competitive in the auction. And second conclusion that happened here is like same data, uh, February 19, uh, same amount spent, much less people reached and uh, CPM has gone up since last, um, you know, hence we have like less sales. So why it happens, like we started, you know, pretty much to, to break it down farther. So you can see like overall, like the, the amount spent here was like almost $4,000. It wasn't like bad ads. It had like tremendous amount of data already and had over 100 purchases. So definitely it's been through learning phase and stuff. So we started to analyze and break down like why exactly that happened. So you can use um, even like two uh, X or three X comparison to like to, uh, you know, to dig, to dig deeper and get to the root of the problem. So for example, um, you know, a few examples like first time impressions or in CPA, uh, like auction overlap and CPA. So pretty much comparing the stats on that level auction competition so we've got the problem on february 19 pretty much a reach went down and this cost uh you know like drop in sales um and let's see if it was due to auction competition so we've seen that on this graph above um that audience competition was extremely high and which obviously influenced the results so possible reason for that is like we've increased the budget and started like delivering ads to a pocket that's highly uh you know competitive and desired by other people uh so our ads got negative feedback and started performing worse since like poor quality of traffic and you know third conclusion is probably we need to update ads and scale the campaign down and so we've analyzed this auction competition 70 percent cost per purchase like tremendously gone up um so audience saturation so anyone uh, telling you uh, that that you have like evergreen audience that they don't know like what what they're what they're doing, um, like pretty much you can eventually like tire off any audience. So you always um, try to find new winners uh, to get you know substitutes for the current winners for the current ads. So for example, this was the audience of uh, buyers like lookalike, and uh, you can see however big your that audience is, whether it's like five, two million, five, ten million, twenty million, like sooner or later it will just get um, you know worn out and also the quality of the buyer is not like consistent throughout that audience so you'll get initially you'll get good results and then over time it just will get worse and worse so uh, yet Facebook tries to to reach those better pockets it will most likely bring the conversion so not um, you know not the traffic that from that like 2 million people not all of these people are buyers like there's just a segment of those people that are potentially good buyers and that are buyers that will buy from you, but then it will go up and up and up. So that's why if it was each day your frequency, so you can analyze it here, uh, your frequency uh, will, will just go up and uh, pretty much sooner or later you hit to the point where you, uh, you just, you know, wear out that audience, right? So that's why, that's why like you have to refer to creative or make some adjustments uh, to your ad set or Pretty much, uh, if you if you have if you want to have like the most consistent setup and the most um, you know like avoiding consistencies, then no targeting at all probably is like the best option. So this is like a natural process, right? So you need to just get um, everything out of the pocket as long as it's profitable. Um, so basically, um, the way the way it is, um, the, you know, the way it is like structured is. Um, like, you know, you, 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 you get that to the certain level, right? Then you need to adjust something to get more of that audience. So pretty much you go in cycles with any audience on Facebook. So, uh, we encountered, encounter, encountered this problem. So on Feb, uh, February 19, uh, so first, like, was it due to increased frequency? No, the frequency, um, like didn't change a lot. So we started to analyze plus you're good as, as frequency on cold traffic is like less than two. So what about first impression ratio? Yeah, so like first impression ratio is like the slope and down for the first time, this influences the cost of our traffic. So we've just been hitting the same people and that 
influenced, um, you know, the frequency like lifetime, um, uh, you know, like first time impression ratio. Uh, so pretty much we've been hitting the same people. And the further conclusion that we've had is audience reached the point where there was not enough traffic to, to serve ads so effectively, right? So we just uh, pretty much how we can build, what's the solution in this case is lower the ad spend or serve them new ads. So basically we've confirmed our fears from the auction competition part. Um, then um, we just checked the um, uh, auction overlap graph. So auction overlap graph can be found here, as you can see here. And you can see it's not that it's not that bad, as you can see here from this data. So there was a slight increase in, uh, in audience overlap, but there were like higher peaks during successful uh, days before and after. So it's not about the overlap. So as you can see how we kind of like analyze all of this data. So the way to think about it is like you're advertiser, right? For Facebook, like on their platform, you're just one of their many, many people that are advertising, millions of people. And as you're competing with these people, obviously, you know, some are better advertisers than you, some are worse people, some are not, not worse people, but not some are worse advertisers than you. And what you need to, understand is where exactly you can be better, right? What exactly you need to do differently. So that's exactly what this um, inspect tool uh, provides you the insights for. So the fifth conclusion is uh, there is no significant uh, auction overlap. So the main reason is either like poor performance of ads or uh, just too high budget, you know, for this bucket. You know, we, we've done both. So decrease the budget and update the ads. On the first graph, you can see that we've introduced new ads on February uh, 20 and reduced the uh, daily budget. And let's check the results um, on normal scale, right? So we can see here like five purchases, very low ROAS. And then uh, we reduce the budgets like learning process restarted. So we hit 1.5 X ROAS as you can see, like just in two days. Um, so CPMs remain the same, but cost per click remain the same, but seems like we've been, we, we started to hit better quality traffic here. So um, you may not see it, but here we basically we went from 0.82 to 1.5 acts for us. And February 22, 23, like new ads are being optimized and, and, and getting better performance. So we're hitting 252 acts for us, which is tremendous and very good for us. So final conclusion here, guys, is that you can see that uh, pretty much like our CPC click rate CPMs have not improved right? But our results have. Why? Because, um, because, you know, the auction uh, competition, right? So uh, with the same ads with higher budgets, um, we could not get enough traffic from that audience to serve ads to effectively and cost, uh, you know, pretty much get, we, we, we would spend money, right? Facebook would take it, but it would not get us enough, enough purchases. And with new ads, and also we've gotten like hidden by competition, with new ads on lower budgets, we could revive that audience. So pretty much like hit the same audience with new ads, hence lower the auction competition, win some good purchases from that audience and spend money effectively. And this is just a small example, guys. So this is just one ad, ad set, it's just, you know, 14 days of performance. And, but you know, if, if you if you really like serious about your ads performance, then you definitely wanna, um, you know, take a look at this and I like monitor this. And I mean, if you're looking for help with this and uh, if you if you want to improve your ad advertising results and scale your business with with Facebook advertising or with um, your, you know, your e-commerce dropshipping business, then um, there should be a link somewhere so you can um, apply for a call uh, and will will basically help you to, to get results, better results for your business and scale your business with uh, paid advertising. Uh, this is it guys i hope you uh, find it uh, valuable uh, definitely utilize this inspect tool um, especially if your performance goes down like there there's something is something is happening there and uh, something needs to be done in order for you to to improve your results so this is it guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video